prior to lesson study, you'd go in an observation and you could see good teaching, but the ideas we were working on in PDs, you know, ideas we were trying to get better at, you didn't see those things being done well in classes. And now, to give the example, we work on different skills through lesson study. So this year we're working on discussion and I'll go into classes and see really quality strategies related to discussion that are being done really well by teachers. And the teachers adapting the practices that we're working on, you see, to a much greater degree. It's an opportunity for them to think in a productive way with their colleagues deeply about something, and it's meaningful to them. You're no longer isolated. It almost forces you to visit your colleagues' classroom and see what they're doing, get some ideas, help them out with your own ideas. It was something that was encouraged before lesson study, but lesson study just provided that format for us. We pick a skill that we focus on for the whole school and uh, a student skill. We want to pick something that we know students struggle with and we want to pick something that's going to be meaningful for every department but that each department is going to be able to like drill down to a part of that skill, like a sub-skill, that's meaningful to them. But we're all working on discussion. Based off the, off the skill that the school is focusing on, um, we then try to find a problem of practice. Then the teachers come together to collaborate a lesson that feels good because, again, it's not one teacher making it. You're kind of all responsible for this lesson. Then we review the lesson together, or we watch the lesson. And we're generally taking low inference notes, so it's less about the, the teacher. It's more about like what you see the students doing. Then we come back after watching the lesson, and then we do glows, like what went well, what were students able to do, and then we do grows. And then we come back based off the glows and grows, and we do another lesson that builds off of it. Um, pretty much repeating the same process. The cold planning is really the meat of the, of the work. So this is where we, first we generate a whole bunch of ideas and that part is really important because it just allows us to be creative and all ideas are welcome. And then we try to narrow down on one specific strategy then we look at the skill very specifically and try to break it down into specific sub-skills and look-fors. We discuss, you know, how are we going to present this skill to the students? How do we make it clear? How are we going to model this skill for them? And then what will the activities look like? And so with that process, since we have a small team, everyone gets to have a voice. And then once we have kind of an outline of what we want the lesson to look like, we do a test run. We're going to get a preview of a lesson that we're going to teach next week. Um, we don't know if we have it right yet, so we want to see you engage with the problem. Sixty of these things in a package. Yeah, how would you design it? Okay. We got to make something that's going to hold it, right? You got to make a package, basically. Like sixty of these. starting with that like what was challenging not necessarily just about the problem but also about working with your group anything that came up I don't know I felt like I didn't know what to do at first it seemed like a simple question but it felt way harder when you actually had to like draw it out and everything during one of the lesson study meetings after we determined which students were going to observe we filled out this template where we include um, what are the lesson look for's, what should we be looking for in this lesson, how do we gauge whether a student is successful or not. You're focusing on the students. You're not focusing on the teachers. My job is I'm on my Chromebook, laptop, whatever, and I'm just documenting everything I see this student doing. If he picks up a pencil, if he didn't pick up a pencil. Um, and what's important is that it's low inference notes. We have your objectives, right? So like, this is what we want the students to do. And then we look at the evidence from the, our, our notes and we're like, all right, what were the students able to do well? And we usually highlight that in like one color. So then we're like, oh, the students were able to do this well. And then what weren't they able to like? And then we highlight those and we think about why they weren't able to do those things. And then we collaboratively come up with 
a way to meet those needs. Like, why weren't we able to do that? And we create another lesson based off of those things. Students being honest about when they didn't understand something that someone didn't actually ask them to elaborate. So from a discussion standpoint, I was happy that that format is working um, to get students talking to each other. It really is about the process. And it's not about just, you know, checking off boxes or saying we did lesson study. It's about being really reflective and being open to learn from whatever happens. Even if things don't go the way you want or the way you expected, the learning that can come out of it, if you're truly engaged in the process, can be so incredibly rich. The challenge uh, for me um, as a school leader has been, how do I get the practices to spread? Each department basically comes up with a kind of mini workshop on their strategy. And they do it in a, in a way where the other teachers can actually experience it. And then we're going to talk about the, the strengths and weaknesses that we found from doing lesson study and from watching kids with it. And then at the end, each department goes back, you know, a member of each department would go out and get these different workshops and they come back as a department and figure out what ideas did they see from the other departments that they want to bring back to their department. Just this cross-pollination of ideas within the school and outside of the school that lesson study has made possible just leads to just better teaching. The difference between uh, prior to us basing our teaching around lesson study to after is a real marked difference. Um, so one is just our school results, the overall results. Last year we had the second highest graduation rate of the 50 transfer schools in New York City and we continue to have very high attendance. And I think those are directly connected to the quality of instruction.